morning. My name is Jaylynn and we are here for another day in Costa Rica. We're starting off this beautiful morning with a walk with mom. We're gonna walk the same trail that I took dad yesterday. We just kind of want to explore around. She hasn't really gotten to like walk around anywhere yet. So just wants to see what it's all about. And don't miss out because today we'll be scuba diving in the ocean. Do not miss out on that. But until then, monkeys it is. Today is dive day. Me and Michael James are going scuba diving. Yeah. Woohoo! And Dad's going on the boat with us. So stay tuned to check out all of our diving adventures. Make sure it's set up to your specifications and that somebody came around to put some weights in there for you. Up here we have a cooler, and that cooler is water, fruit, and cookies. Help it rain in the back. Now that we come so far, Punta Gorda, um, also known as Fat Point. 
Um, we are going to be going around this rock here. It's going to be rock on the left. On the bottom, you're going to want to stay nice and buoyant, but we'll help you with that. Um, there are sharp things, there are things that sting, so just really try not to touch anything. If it gets lost at any time, which shouldn't happen, I'll be in the back, he'll be in the front, but if you were to get lost for any reason, go up a little bit, look around for one minute. If you don't see anybody, ascend normally without a safety stop. Don't go too fast, just go at a nice slow pace. Um, a couple different things we can see. We have white tip reef sharks. Um, it's been a little cold for them, but if it's a little bit warmer, then we will see them. Um, we have turtles. We have different kinds of rays, stingrays, round rays, butterfly rays, devil rays, and spotted eagle rays. Them? I don't know. I think I kicked you a couple times. Oh, more than a couple. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just got back from our first dive, and it was awesome. It was so fun. We saw all kinds of sea animals. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I already did this once, but it turned out it was a photo, not a video. So now I gotta do it a second time. Um, we saw. I don't even remember. We saw rays. We saw lots of fish, all different colors of fish. We saw this one like rock fish, it literally just looked like a rock, but it was, it was like a fish. We saw McKenna saw an octopus. She pointed it out, but I didn't like notice it, I guess. Um, some eels, show them how big the eel was. It was ginormous. I was like, oh, throw it away, throw it away. That thing was huge. And we saw a little eel. We saw all kinds of fish. It was awesome. 
So it sounds like we get to do a second dive. So I'm super excited for that. It was weird to like be breathing underwater through the mask. Like, I don't know. It was just weird. It was funky. Ready for round two? Enter the water like we did before with that giant stride, same as before, holding the mask, holding the weight belt. Great, so we can go ahead and gear up. Make sure your tanks are on. I know I was trying to get my fins off in it and stuff. Oh, hey, yeah. Wow, I McKenna, tried to that's show you so... a nudibranch, branch, but there was just no way. What's a nudibranch? branch? A nudibranch branch is like a little sea slug, but they're rainbow. Oh. And I tried to show you. I, I was saw. Like, yeah, there's no way she's gonna see that. I, I saw this one. funky thing. It was kind of like, like standing up in the water. Yeah. It was a, like it looked like a sluggish type thing. No, it's a. Uh, yeah. That's the one I'm it's like an anemone. Okay, and then what's the, it's like the super long, like, fish. That's a cornet fish, so related to the trumpet fish. Because I saw those on both sides. Those were cool looking, or funky. And we saw, like, a snake guy. Yeah, something that looked kind of like a snake. I hate snakes. <laughs> yeah, the fish I'm, I'm okay with, but, the, but we saw that snake, and I was like, swim up, swim up. And he swam, like, right over it. I saw a puffer fish that was actually puffed. That it was actually puffed out. Oh, really? Yeah, it was cool. It's all and then we, we, it was just like we just did like a bunch of circles, so we kept seeing the other divers, which was cool to see. Rays were awesome. Yeah, that was my first one I ever found. Big rays. Oh, Thank you. 
stage. That was awesome. Want to get certified now? Yeah. I told Dad I'm gonna go find a spot down there. Or you can go to Mexico. You guys have another trip to Mexico. I will definitely be doing some research. Uh, like yeah, the only thing I didn't like was that snake. Oh, <laughs> no, that's a snake. Hey. Michael James saw one <laughs> recently. We saw that big old eel on the last dive. Yeah, the first, like the first more. dive. Oh my god, that thing was huge. <laughs> it was scary. But I was like, swim away, swim away. Did you have fun, Dad? Gordon? Oh, Wish that you did it though? Are you wishing that you did it? Weirdo. Wish you can go again, Michael James? Yeah. Round three, let's go! Oh, I saw a huge starfish. You saw that starfish, right? There two of them. I don't saw them. Well, I have done you have to play this person. Oh, maybe not. No, but it was like. Huge. Oh, it was not that big. Okay, you're so dramatic. The starfish? Yes. First one I saw the starfish. Oh, the second one was like, put your hand a little closer together. No, bigger than that. Yeah, like that. But the starfish. It was huge. There's a lot of rocks on this one. We we're doing like a lot of circles over. Like, could you tell we were circling the same rock? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Especially because I kept seeing the line. Yeah, the line really gives away a bunch. Yeah. 
All right, you guys, um, it is currently like five o'clock. I know that there's been a huge gap in the day, but let me just uh, fill you in. First of all, we got off the boat from scuba diving and I didn't have my regular camera. I only had my GoPro, which I had killed all three batteries. So I was just like battery-less, camera-less. But all we did was we went and ate lunch. I had a delicious burger. And then um, we went through some shops so I could grab some souvenirs for some people. And then we just came back and hung out. So you guys really didn't miss much. Um, we just went through the shops, which we did on the first day. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Um, but now we're gonna go up to the lookout and go see the beautiful sunset. So join me for that. All right, we made it to the beautiful sunset spot right before sundown. So we'll be here for a little bit watching that sun fall down below the horizon. I'm so excited. I want you to do this every night and every night we miss it. So we're finally watching it. Alrighty guys, we found our perfect spot with a beautiful view of the sunset. I am so excited. It's already starting to go down and the horizon's starting to get all pink. It's so beautiful. So yeah, let's go enjoy the sunset. is barbed wire. We just stuck through barbed wire to go see that. That was it. That was all there was to it. So yeah, I think now we're just going back and hanging out for a bit. Not much more to it. We fly out early tomorrow morning, so this is about it for the trip. Tomorrow it'll just be getting through customs back into the US. Um, today we had to go get COVID tested, which was super easy it cost $70 we went to the doctor's office in town and they did it and got our results within like th three hours so worked out perfectly we we're driving back to the house and we found this beautiful spot right near our house where the sunset is just gorgeous just another spot to watch those orange colors light up the sky Alrighty, we are all packed up. We are done for the night, bright and early tomorrow, so it's time to head off to bed. Sorry that scuba diving that I couldn't take you guys with me, but I just want you to know that I will do it again and I will find some way to record it next time. So keep an eye out for that. And I hope that you learned a little bit about what Costa Rica is like and the culture and everything. Yeah, I've been all around the world. in the Liberia airport heading home. We have to go check in our luggage and go through security and then we'll be on our way. Alrighty, I just made it home from Costa Rica. I had so much fun on these adventures and I am so glad that I got to share it with you guys. If you watched these, all of these videos and got to this point, I thank you so much. It means the world to me to have your support. This was my first time vlogging without Steven and it was a little bit scary and a bit crazy. But thank you guys so much for sticking in it with me and watching these videos. I do have some more travels coming up and hopefully every time we vlog we get a little bit better. So I hope that you stay tuned for those videos and check out some more of my adventures. For now though, this is all I have for you. So as always, this isn't a goodbye, but just a see you real soon.